Vision Forward's In Focus team presents. Hi, this is Luke Scrimmon here at Vision Forward. Welcome back to another Tech Talk. In today's Tech Talk, we're going to be taking a look at the iPhone. Here it is. And we're going to be uh, taking a look at some of the magnification features which are built into the iPhone and which do a really good job for people with low vision to help them access the phone. So let's jump in and take a look at what it can do. Let's start off, we're gonna um, go into our settings. Now we could use um, Siri to do this, in which case we might just wanna say open accessibility. But if we're not doing that, then we're gonna go into our settings. And one of the options in our settings is accessibility. And we will just go ahead and go to there. In accessibility, we have all of the accessibility options which are available to people with disabilities. And some of those uh, are gonna be specific to vision. Those will actually be the first ones in the list. And there's a number of different things. Now, the ones we're interested in at the moment are going to be zoom. And uh, we could also look at display and text size. Actually, let's look at that first, why not? So we'll go into display and text size. And here we have a number of options which will affect things throughout our phone. For example, bold text will make the text on the phone uh, bolder. Um, larger text, which is probably one of the ones that we're going to be most uh, interested in, is going to uh, enlarge the size of the font on our phone. And it will do things like change the size of the text in the menus, but also change the size of text message text and things like that. Let's go ahead and turn it on here. So I'm gonna go turn on the larger accessibility sizes. That allows me to use a slider at the bottom to adjust the size of text. And we can see instantly that the size of the text in this menu has become much larger. If I go back to look at the same menu that we were just in, all of that is larger now. So that's uh, definitely something worthwhile if you are a low vision user. You can uh, get the text uh, larger and it will, like I say, it will change in various places such as the text messages and in the menus and things like that. Let me turn that off for the moment here. All right, let's go back out to the display and text size menu. There's a bunch of other options here. Uh, another useful one might be increasing contrast, which will increase the uh, color contrast uh, between foreground and background colors. That can just help make things pop a little bit uh, better. There's also a smart invert, which will make everything uh, high contrast. Now, I already had a dark theme turned on, so it doesn't necessarily make a huge difference on my phone. Um, but uh, basically it won't change the color of pictures, but anytime there is uh, black and white, it will invert those colors um, so that it's easier for you to see. And so uh, in the menus here, for example, it's made everything uh, this high contrast white on black. Now, like I say, I already had a, a white on black theme anyway, so it's not super different to what I had going on, uh, but it is an option there. Let's go ahead and turn that off again here. All right, uh, we also have classic invert that inverts everything, including the color of uh, pictures and uh, things like that. So that can make some things look kind of crazy. Uh, so smart invert is generally the best way to go with that. Anyway, that's display and text size. I just wanted to have a brief look at that, but we're mainly gonna be looking at zoom here. So let's go into zoom. And uh, first of all, we have a switch to turn on and off zoom. We wanna enable that. So I've got that enabled at the moment. And we also uh, are gonna see a number of options in this menu. And what we're gonna be most interested in here are making sure that zoom is turned on. And then we're also going to be looking at the zoom controller and the zoom region. Now, by default, the zoom region is set to window zoom and we'll take a look at that. I think full screen zoom is probably better in most cases, but by default, it does seem to be set to window zoom. So let's take a look at that first of all. All right, so it tells us at the top of this menu what zoom does uh, and how to work it. So it says double tap three fingers to zoom, drag three fingers to move around the screen, double tap three fingers and drag to change zoom. Let's take a look at how that works in practice. I'm gonna go out to the home screen here. Okay, I'm gonna take three fingers and we're gonna double tap on the screen, one, two. And now, because I've got it set to this window zoom, I have this magnification window on the screen. Now, the tricky part with this is you have to touch in a specific place, which is bottom center, in order to be able to drag this magnification window around. 
and it can be hard to find the place to put your finger on to drag the lens around. So that's why I prefer full screen zoom. Uh, but the nice thing about the window zoom is you do, you do keep a perspective of the whole screen and you can, it's almost like moving a magnifying glass over the window, uh, over the screen. So we did two uh, taps with three fingers to turn it on. Same again to turn it off, three fingers, double tap, and off it goes. Now changing the magnification is the tricky part with this. Some people have difficulty with this particular gesture. What we have to do is tap twice with three fingers, but on the second tap, we leave the fingers on the screen and push them either up to zoom in or down to zoom out. Let's give that a try. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom out first of all. So double tap and we'll zoom out. There we go, at zero magnification. Let's double tap and zoom in. Here we go, we can see that that is magnifying. Double tap and zoom out by dragging down. Oops, didn't quite get it that time. There we go. And so that gesture can be kind of tricky uh, for, for people to master, um, but it is a very quick way to kind of zoom in and out and enable and disable your magnification. Let's take a look at that same thing, but with the full screen zoom enabled. So I'll go back into my settings and we'll go to the zoom region and we'll change it from window zoom to full screen zoom. Let's see what that looks like. So we'll double tap to turn on, uh, with three fingers, to turn on the magnification here. This time we've zoomed in the entire screen. Now whenever you do this, the field of view is going to be reduced. So the amount that you can see on the screen will be reduced. And so that necessitates us now panning or moving around the screen. And to do that, we still use the three fingers and we just put them on the screen and drag them around. And that will allow us to move up and down, left and right. Again, getting the hang of this can be tricky for some people, so you might want to just try it out for yourself and see how you get on. To zoom out again, we can double tap again with three fingers. There we go. And we can also do the double tap and drag up to, uh, to enlarge and down to make smaller. So let me do that. We'll zoom in. Oops, let's try that again. There we go. So this is the maximum zoom now. We basically fit one app on the screen at this size and double tap and drag down, it will zoom out. And so the zoom will remember the zoom level that you've set. So if I just double tap with three fingers to turn off the zoom, when I double tap with three fingers to turn it back on again, it will remember that zoom level that I was last on. And so that's pretty neat. You can basically get it to the size that works for you and then just leave it there. Let's zoom back out again. Now all of that stuff is great, but it can be tricky, as I had said, for some people to get the hang of. And in that case, it can be beneficial to use the zoom controller instead. Let's take a look at that. We're gonna go into the settings menu here. And we're gonna to go to our, our zoom uh, menu within accessibility. And we'll find this option called zoom controller. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on. A Couple of things worthwhile looking at first in here. At the bottom, we have an option for color and idle opacity. Color lets us change the color of the zoom controller. And the zoom controller is uh, a circle which will be on your screen all the time, um, which allows you to do various things. Now I have mine set to red because I think that's easy to see. Uh, there are a number of options, white, blue, red, green, yellow, orange. And so you can choose whichever color is best for you to see. An idle opacity sets how see-through the controller goes when you're not using it. And so I have that set to 100%, which means that the controller will never go see-through. Uh, but you can set it to various percentages so that when you're not using it, you can kind of see through it and see what's behind it. Uh, so you may want to mess around with that. By default, I think it's normally set to 50%. I prefer to set it to 100% so it never goes see-through. So the zoom controller is this circular icon on my screen and I can drag it around by holding, oops, by putting my finger on it and just moving it, just like with an app or anything like that that you're dragging around. And you can just leave it anywhere on your screen, anywhere that's convenient for you. Now what we can do with this controller is actually a few different things. We can use it to zoom in and zoom out rather than using that three finger gesture, which we looked at before. We can also use it to uh, have text read aloud to us. And we can also use it 
um, to invert colors and things like that. Let me just turn on an option here. Now, inside this menu, we actually have options to dictate how it works. So we can say what a single tap should do, what a double tap should do, what a triple tap should do. And so we can kind of set it up how we like it. So at the moment, I've got it set to single tap, speak on touch, double tap, zoom in and out, and uh, triple tap, show the menu. Let's take a look at some of these things. I'm gonna go back out to my home screen here. So the single tap was speak on touch. Now this is a really neat feature that I looked at in another video. And uh, let me just make sure my volume is turned up a bit here. So we can tap on the controller once. And now anything we tap on will be read aloud to us. So for example, if I tap on a, an app on the home screen, books, and it was read aloud to us. This will work for any text. So it could be a text message, it could be an email, uh, you know, various things like that, uh, text on a web page. So a really powerful and easy way to have text read aloud to you. And if you're interested in uh, finding out more about that, you can check out my previous video about that. Now let's do the double tap, one, two. And we zoomed in, and uh, that was exactly the same as using that three finger double tap, but this is just one finger, so it's easier. But you do have to tap on the controller, so you have gotta be able to see where the controller is. Double tap again, we'll zoom out. Let's zoom in again. Now the other cool thing about this is when we zoom in with the controller, we can use the controller as kind of a joystick. So rather than using three fingers and panning around on the screen, which can be difficult. And also when you're doing that, your fingers cover the screen, which makes it difficult to see what you're looking for. When we have the controller turned on, we can use it like a joystick. So we put our finger on it and then we, we move our finger uh, to the left or down or up or right and it will pan around the screen. And we're just using one finger to do this rather than the three fingers. And uh, so I think this is a very nice way to pan around. As long as you can see where the controller is, that is, and get your finger on it. Uh, so that's all very nice. To zoom out again, double tap with one finger on the controller, and we've gone ahead and zoomed out. Uh, so yeah, nice easy way to zoom in and pan around, I think. Let's check out the triple tap now. So we're gonna open the menu with a triple tap on the controller, one, two, three, and here we have a menu. Now, the top option is zoom in. We already have that set to double tap, but we could do it here in the menu as well. And if we do, then that will change to zoom out, and then we can zoom out using that as well. We can uh, select to choose region. That will be whether we want our full screen zoom or our window zoom. So we can very quickly change between those at any time, which is nice. We can also choose a filter so we could invert the colors, for example. And now everything on my phone is inverted. This works particularly well with areas of black and white because those will be inverted. So white will become black, black will become white, which can be useful in some circumstances. Let's put that to no. We can also choose to hide the controller. And finally, at the bottom here, we have a slider that we can use to adjust the magnification level. And so uh, that's definitely very useful. Uh, that allows us to change the magnification level without having to use that difficult three finger double tap and hold and slide and all of that kind of business that we looked at to begin with. Now, if you can do that gesture, then great. But uh, if you can't, this way of doing things with a controller here is extremely uh, helpful. So that's a few ways that you can zoom with your iPhone. Bearing in mind, this will work anywhere, no matter what app you are using, no matter what you're trying to do, you have these tools available. I personally think the controller is the way to go, particularly because it gives you that speak on touch functionality, which is great, so that you don't have to always be reading stuff with your vision, you can kind of do some stuff with your hearing as well. Well, thanks a lot for watching this video on the iPhone and its magnification features. I hope you found the video useful and learned something new. If you did like the video, then uh, do give us a like and subscribe to the channel. It all helps us out. And keep tuned to the channel. Every Friday, we do release a new video. So there's always some new content coming out. If you want to get in touch with us, you can give us a call at 414-615-0103. You can email infocus at vision-forward.org and you can visit our website at vision-forward.org. And with that being said, we look forward to seeing you in the next video.